All right, so for this video, we are going to be repurchasing the Soul Reaper Axe as well as the Bellator Ring. It's been a while since I've used these items, but as you can tell, the prices have changed since the last time. Managed to get the Soul Reaper Axe for just shy of 313 mil, and as it goes for the Bellator Ring, about 69 mil for that. These were purchased about six days ago, and the Soul Reaper Axe is up 10 mil. So good investment, but now we're ready to get started with Var Dorvis. Actually, just kidding. I have to buy dragon claws real quick all right we should be good to go we have thralls as well as the soul reaper axe the bellator ring set of full bandos ferocious gloves and the face guard as well as the blood fury dragon claws for spec divine super combat two restores one serodome brew and the rest food and teleports in today's video we're going to be grinding out var dorvis one of the very few desert treasure bosses that i have not killed in bulk yet current collection log we are just missing the ring as well as the the axe piece and the pet. Originally, I was going to kill Vardorvis 1,000 times, but after six days of grinding this boss and dying over 100 times, well, what can I say? I only managed to kill 500. Now, this being said, uh, I want to come back to this boss in the near future and redo it, and I'll definitely be killing it a thousand times next time around, but I just could not pull it off this time. Leviathan and Vardorvis are my two least favorite Desert Treasure 2 bosses. As you can see on screen here, this was a pretty rough kill, and it did take me a very long time to actually understand how to use the Soul Reaper Axe. I hope you guys enjoy the video, though. What a journey it was, and before we do get started with today's video, while killing Vardorvis, you always want to make sure you're dealing with no lag and you have perfect internet connection. That's why I use Surfshark VPN, because with Surfshark, I can keep my IP address safe and private so that anyone who tries to snoop on me won't be able to see any anything I am doing or where I'm even doing it from. And my internet connection stays just as perfect as it was before. That's why I love using the IP Rotator. Surfshark lets you travel the world in just one click. For example, if you live in America, you can connect to an Australian server and access shows and movies as if you live there locally. And the same goes for other countries and some streaming services too. Now as you can see here, I have my IP Rotator turned on to rotate every five minutes to nearby locations, but at the same time cloaking my IP so that I'm 100% safe from virtual attacks. Now that's just my personal preference. With Surfshark, you can connect to so many different countries around the world and you have the ability to pause or disconnect at any given time. You can also turn on dark mode here. Game privately, access shows and movies, so much more that I didn't get to cover. The real question is, what are you waiting for? With a 30 day money back guarantee, if you're not satisfied, Surfshark is also including an exclusive deal for you guys. Use the code OSRS and you will receive an extra three months of Surfshark for free with your first purchase. And a huge thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's go ahead and get into the Var Dorvis grind. So I'm not gonna lie, this boss, it was very intimidating at first. And even though I have killed it 500 times as of today, which I am proud of that, and the fact that I am gonna be going back in the future and getting another thousand kills only opens us up to more opportunities for more profit, as well as a nicer looking boss, KC, on the high scores so it's all good uh now that i have so much practice here i'll have no problem in the future camping it but i definitely needed a break and i was proud of all of the luck that i received in this video as well as all the clue scrolls that i got i will be saving those towards the end so we'll be opening them all up from easy all the way up to elite and knowing that i completed duke sakellis collection log as well as the whisperer collection log and loot from 1000 of both of those monsters i was determined to complete the collection log here although i will say every single kind content creator that I've watched kill Vardorvis on YouTube has gone extremely dry for the pet as well as the ring drop. So hopefully that does not happen to us today and these 500 kills. We need to make as much money as possible, especially since we invested such a good amount into this video buying Dragon Claws, Bellator Ring, and the Soul Reaper Axe. Here's a little bit of the normal drops in the bank tab there. I would say no doubt the best normal drop is what you're seeing on the floor there. Onyx Bolts Enchanted. You can get more than 60 if you get a more or perfect kill I should say but there is little to no perfect kills in this whole video I think I only ended up with about three awakener orbs but that's 
pretty obvious because uh, the fact that I died over a hundred times, which a lot of you may be confused. You know, how do you die a hundred times in the course of just killing a boss 500 times? Well, I guess you could say it's all about learning. Uh, before I walked into this video, I had about 122 kill count, and I think I died around 20 times then, and now as of today, I'm at 101 deaths. So I think I died like 81 times total in this video alone. Keep in mind that it costs 500k coins for every time you die, so that does add up to quite a lot of money. But with that being said, here is 100 kills in. Looks like uh, pretty average loot, no luck yet. 5.2 mil, the highlights being the dragon at dart tips and the onyx bolts enchanted. Raw sharks aren't too bad either. Sometimes I would even die in my player owned house, but uh, early on I was using my soul reaper axe special attack way too often. Instead of saving the special attack to maximize the strength of the weapon, I was just unleashing it left and right, uh, trying to stay alive, which is a very amateur mistake. Um, um, I was still getting some quick kills every now and then, like here's a new personal best of a minute and four. I think my current personal best is 57 seconds. I believe the global personal best for this boss is 35 seconds, so I do have some room to improve, but there's a double death. You don't want that to happen. We lost out on that chromium ingot drop. Just imagine if that would have been an Ultor ring. 170 mil is what that ring is worth. That's the most valuable ring out of all the Desert Treasure 2 rings that came into the game. And I would imagine it's the most valuable because it's dropped from, in my opinion, the most challenging of all the Desert Treasure 2 bosses, Vardorvis. So hopefully we get 170 mil richer today, 180 mil, whatever it's selling for. That would be incredible. Probably wouldn't keep that ring. I would just sell it. There's our first Awakener Orb drop. I only managed to get three, as I mentioned before. And one thing that I was not expecting, but I'm so relieved to have gotten, is the Executioner's Axe Head. This now makes my third piece of the Soul Reaper Axe and I actually have two pieces from the Duke and one piece from the Whisperer. So if we can actually manage to get a second axe head, we might have the potential to make two Soul Reaper axes in the future, which we can then sell for over 700 mil. Well, of course, that depends on what the price of the axe is at that current time. But either way, 200 kills into today's video, we've gotten the axe head. There's a Blood Quartz. Those are pretty nice. I don't trade them in for more loot. I just collect them for uh, future wilderness activities. But there's the new personal best of 57 seconds and overall i want to try my best to stop dying so much at this boss so nowadays i keep my hp much higher than it usually is and i try to not make any mistakes because the second you make a mistake here you just start accumulating so much damage whether it's from the throwing axes the head gazing upon you or just simply misclicking and uh you know getting one hit that happens every now and again when your prayer gets dropped managed to get some more blood courts and after that kill i was struggling to finish this one i you know just could not get that last hit in there. That also happens occasionally at Vardorvis. But ladies and gentlemen, it paid off. Virtus Robe Top, the most expensive Virtus item you can get from this boss. It is 1 in 3200 for any piece of Virtus, and we could have gotten the mask, which would have been 5 mil, or the bottom, which would have been 29, but instead we got the Robe Top, which is 63 mil. Well, that is incredible. Really made me feel much more motivated after all these deaths. As you can see, 70 deaths with 360. 79 kills. What is wrong with me? You guys wonder why I haven't got an infernal cape yet. I will say this boss does grow on you, and I do apologize that I was not able to hit 1,000 kills. The reality of it is, guys, it would have just taken so much more longer to do, and I've already invested so much time into this video that I just could not put another day into it, and uh, man, I tell you, every death even to this current point in time bothers me so much, but just looking at this kill here, you know, you can kind of tell I just keep my HP a little too low so that I can maximize my kills per inventory. I love getting three to four kills a trip versus just one, and maybe that's uh, just a bad habit and maybe that's what keeps me dying. I'm not sure, but I am getting better. And overall, you know, doing a thousand whisperer and dying like three times really puts it in perspective as to how challenging this boss was. Well, after completing an elite clue and investing 40 mil into 20 Christmas crackers, probably why my bank's always so low. I just make the worst investments. Uh, yeah, we are still grinding Vardorvis. Managed to pick up another Awakener's Orb, and following the Awakener's Orb, another rare. This time, it's not the best, but it still looks nice on the ground. Virtus Mask. 5.8 mil for this one. You know, I used to say, that'll cover the price of a bond, but no, not even half. But uh, needless to say, I will take it. Uh, it's not the robe bottom, but it's okay. It's another uh, unique, and that leads us to more profit. How many deaths 
what's we at? Uh, 80. All right, not too bad, you know, we're getting there, road to 100. One thing I want to mention, uh, since I, you know, showed you guys that two-second clip of investing into Christmas crackers, did you know that Christmas of 2020, I had 10,000 Christmas crackers and I opened them up for a loot video? Just a fun fact, had I kept those Christmas crackers, I could have sold them all today for two mil a piece and I would have had 20 bill, so... <coughs> Who needs 20 bill anyway when you can just kill Far Dorvis and make some money, you know? Earn that GP, it's what I always like to say. Well, anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you for uh, watching the video today. We're coming up on the ending here, just completing some more clue scrolls and accumulating some more loot, but so far, the luck has been pretty strong with two Virtus drops as well as the Executioner's Axe Head. Really makes me want to grind out Leviathan here in the near future just to finally complete my first ever Soul Reaper's Axe, and I can add a nice 350 mil to my bank value. So stay on the lookout for that. Uh, I am working on an Elite Clue Scroll video for tomorrow night, though, so you will see that first. Trying out Urium Shade Burning, and it's a lot of fun. Quick uh, Elite Clue Scrolls, too. So yeah, a lot of videos. I should have a video up every single day for the next week. If not, it'll be like every two days. Just depends on approvals and whatnot. But uh, overall, ladies and gentlemen, 500 Var Dorvis has been completed. I know it's not as special as 1,000, but all I can tell you is this video took a lot out of me. It was a rough week, and I don't really have a lot of those. So uh, yeah, you don't have to feel bad for me or anything. But either way, let's go ahead and price check all this loot. Uh, it looks like everything's in one inventory here. Rounded up, 95 mil. A bulk of that coming from the Virtus. Uh, the normal drops aren't worth too much. It looks like that would have just covered the deaths because I did lose 40 mil dying and I also spent 5 mil in supplies. So that leaves us with roughly 50 mil profit. I really don't mind the deaths because this just means I'll have so much more practice for loot from 1,000 in the future. So I'll take it. You know, practice goes a long way. And a reminder to check out Surfshark in the description below and use code OSRS with your first purchase for an additional three free months. Time to open up these easy clue scrolls. Looks like we got a whole lot of nothing other than that last one we got 400k from. Now we go to the medium clues, a little bit of purple sweets, and adamant and a strength amulet T. Now for the hard clues. Looks like the highlight from these is the Zamrock full helm. Nice uh, one mil reward following that a couple 250ks. Moving on to the elites, we did manage to get a master, which I will complete after the opening of the elites. Didn't really get anything from from the elites or the master, but overall an additional three mil made from the clue scrolls, not bad. Well, it's time to sell everything from this video, including all of the loot from the Vardorvis and all of the clue scroll loot, which does get us to 92 million GP. With everything else, it's 94 mil. 53 mil of this money is all profit, and we now have the third piece to our Soul Reaper Axe, which means we are just needing one more to make that additional 350 mil. Well, that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. A big thank you to you guys for watching the video and a thank you to all of the monthly channel members with a special shout out to X Exotic X and Deception Z. And remember to use discount code Mr. No Ship Cost with that Ironside referral link in the description. I actually managed to sell six computers last month, but half of you guys didn't use the shipping code to save on shipping. So keep that in mind. But with that being said, guys, I'll see you tomorrow or the following day with another video related to Elite Clues. Thanks for everything. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.